The Ministry of Aviation believes that aviation businesses must now think out of the box to survive. It added that the approved maintenance facility will provide a lifeline for airlines. A representative of the Minister of State for Aviation was speaking at the sea check ceremony of Aero Contract. It is not worthy that Boeing 737 aircraft are the most common aircraft types fleet being operated by most indigenous airline operators in Nigeria. Prior to now, and in the lifespan of other administrations, Nigeria experienced huge capital flights of nothing less than $1.8 million and $3 million per aircraft that left our shores for sea checks. And there are more than 30 of such aircraft operating so you can do the maths. All that is about to and is changing with this initiative birthed by aero contractors. To say the least, this milestone achievement is phenomenal and significant. It will be for the benefit of all Nigerian airlines, and I dare to say the sovereign operating the Boeing fleet. To take advantage of it, it will ease business processes for their major maintenance checks, drastically reduce maintenance costs while optimizing their operating costs because of the benefits of making a major part of the maintenance service fees in Naira. And also reduce aircraft maintenance downtime and create job opportunities for a teaming workforce among several other benefits. May I use this platform to cancel all airlines and aviation-related companies to henceforth establish and devote resources into creating research and development, R&D. This is one major factor that can guarantee business continuity and sustainability. Business climate has changed and will continue to experience constant rapid change as innovation thrives so to say, so to stay relevant in the business environment, airline aviation companies must find pragmatic ways to improve their systems, processes, and procedures in line with the dynamism of business environment. The slogan, innovate or die, you choose, is apt, drawing from valuable lessons in the example of Nokia and Motorola, when we talk of mobile phones, vis-a-vis -vis Apple and Samsung. You will all agree with me, the first early bird of mobile phones were Motorola and Nokia. But today, through research and development, Apple and Samsung, they've taken over greatly Apple is the best selling brand in the world today. This is down to a lot of investment in research and development. And this is why I'm urging the airlines and the business owners of aviation industries to please set up a small unit, no matter how little, called R&D. It will help, it will support, the industry, and at the end of the day, create more money for the shareholders. As an administration, we remain resolute and committed to ensuring that the Nigerian aviation industry grows capacity to become the aviation hub for Africa. And we will not rest on our oars until our dreams become our common reality. Kenya Airways is expecting that its daily direct flights to the United States that will be launched for the first time in October will boost annual revenue by 10% from 2019. The carrier, which is 7.8% owned by Air France KLM, 
has started taking bookings for the flight to and from New York that will carry 234 passengers each day on a Boeing 787 Dreamliner plane. At the moment, US-bound passengers from Kenya must change planes in Europe or the Gulf on a journey that can take 20 hours or more. Kenya has long wanted to fly direct to the United States, but Kenyan carriers were only granted U.S. security clearance for the route in February 2017. This was after a major refurbishment of facilities at the main Nairobi airport. The new route is part of an effort to revive the airline's fortune after it came close to collapse, leading to a $2 billion financial restructuring in November that included a government bailout which shrank KLM's shares. This is uh, roughly this is this is 10 percent of our of our. This is going to increase 219 revenues by roughly 10 percent of what we have today. The new route aims to encourage more business and tourist travel with the United States, which is described as the biggest source of visitors to Kenya. Ekosh was hired from Lot Polish Airlines last June to help turn around the carrier. Kenya Airways shares, which have tripled in value since the November restructuring, jumped 5.9% to 17.15 shillings. Away from an airline restructuring to another country that is also aiming to raise its GDP through tourism. Somalia, after many years of conflict, is eager to revive its collapsed tourism sector hoping to become one of Africa's top tourist destinations. The country's once architecturally beautiful coastal capital lies next to beaches and Azuri waters that prompt many visitors recognizing its tourism potential as they fly in. The government is banking on relatively improved security to lure tourists as part of efforts to rebuild. While still in its nascent stages, the tourism sector is being touted as a potential catalyst for significant economic growth and employment in the coming years. That prospect received a boost last September when Somalia was admitted as the 157th member of the United Nations World Tourism Organization at the body's General Assembly meeting in Shendu, China. We are just doing our part as a youth. Noor Hassan is a tour operator with the Mogadishu-based Sahan Hotspot Travelers Firm and is keen to see the changes. Now, now we have lots of people coming, daring to come to Somalia. Uh, this year alone we hosted almost 40 non-Somalis, not Somalis, non-Somalis, international people, most of them European. Another official spells out the dreams. What we are working is that to to let the local people understand the value of, of, of you know this industry. Gradually, we are going to take to the up to the to the national level that Somalia, uh, you know, to announce that it's officially tourism destination. Somalia is ready to welcome the world. Somalia is at, in the developing stage. Somalia is ready to host you know the events and conferences you know part of the continent and globally. Over 150 travel agencies currently operate in Somalia, while foreign airlines operate regular flights to the capital Mogadishu from Istanbul and Nairobi. After the break, News Flash is next. Do join us again.